Hey, come on in. Um, let's talk about six years of mechanics and let's talk about swerve and steer. Those are back in stock. Okay, so the hot thing is still McKinnon wheels. Six inches are coming back in stock tomorrow. Four inches are here now. I think eight inch wheels are about a week away. So we ran out of rollers. We had an issue with the rollers with the eight inch wheels. So bear with us on that. We have this AM1 for you two MK6 upgrade package for your AM1 for you two for McKinnon wheels. Some of you guys already might have purchased McKinnon wheels. So we have this nice little gearbox called the 671 gearbox. It gives you about the right ratio and the right speed for your AM1 for U2 for six inch McKinnon wheels. We call it the 671 because it's a 6.7 to 1 ratio. It's steel gears, thick, robust side plates. It's got a hex output shaft. And those things are in stock now. We have, a, we have an initial production run that's pretty small. We have another production run happening now that's going to be available in about a week. So it's, it's probably going to go out of stock. Probably going to come back in stock. Check back. If you have any questions on this, email us, let us know. It's called the 671 Gearbox, part number AM2979. It goes right on your AM1 for you, too. Right there, 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 there. Kind of simple. Also, I think for once now, finally, we have all of the electronics parts from Crossroad Electronics and Vex Robotics. We have Robo Rios. We've got all kinds of electronics that support the Robo Rio. So check those out now. Those are finally all in. Thanks to our suppliers for getting all those things done in time. Like I mentioned, we have swerve and steers. We're building swerve and steers right now. And there's a couple different ways to uh, manage the steering of that with a couple different encoders. So those things are available now. Oh, I got this fun email from Marshall over at Team 900, the Zebra Corns. So. Howdy, North Carolina, Zebra Corns. They're showing us how they design and build their robot. This gal, lovely lady here, shows us their robot design. And it is the Starship Enterprise. Very nice. So anyway, keep the videos coming. Um, this, I think Brett will put this video maybe as a link to our video so you can see kind of how they design and they, they go through their conceptualizing and such as a team. I missed my lunch. I already ate it before you came. I was kind of hungry. I had turkey and cheese. I do have some peppers and I had some string cheese. It was a very yellow lunch today. By the way, Andy, did you see the response to our McCannum question? I, I didn't. I've been busy and so I, I didn't see that response. Is there an answer? There is an answer. It corrected the normal spelling to McCannum with an H. The Shanum. Thanks to Isaac for uh, sending this text back to us regarding the question of the day from a couple days ago regarding how to pronounce McCannum. And it's a very well thought out answer. I'm not sure I totally buy into it. He's got us down this rabbit hole even further. He's saying that it should be Mashanum. And he's putting an H in McCannum after the C. This is good. It's a good start. Let's say that. It's a good start. So let's let's see what else we can we can come up with. So thank you, Isaac. This is lunch with Andy, right? So what do you guys like to eat during build season? And I'm not, I'm not gonna let you off the hook that easy. Pizza and Mountain Dew are not, I mean, everybody likes those. Those are givens. So Give me some unique things that your team eats or drinks. Give me some unique things special to your team that keeps you energized and flowing throughout the build season. And let us know what, you're, what you enjoy eating. Thanks. Mark. I'm Noah from Team 900, uh, located here in Durham, North Carolina. CAD going on over here. Here's some looks at our early CAD models. Oh, this is pretty exciting. Something along this. Alright, so uh, that's been a look at Team 900. Uh, we'll see you around. Thank you.